Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe Illustrator CS5 and I am going to show you guys how to use the Pathfinder tool. Uh, first and foremost, the Pathfinder tool is a tool that allows you to combine shapes, it allows you to make different kinds of shapes with the shapes you have already have, uh, as, we as well as much, much more. So let's go ahead and dive into it and see what the Pathfinder can do for you. First off, let me go ahead and change the color of my square back to yellow here. Uh, in order to view the Pathfinder uh, window, which I have already brought over here to be a little more visible, is you can go to Window, all the way down here, Pathfinder. Just so just choose it, click on it, and it will open up, and it may come up over here, and you can just, if you didn't know this, you can actually drag boxes around and uh, realign uh, your toolbars here. So anyways, as you see here under the Pathfinder selection here, we have four shape modes, uh, and I will explain all of those here shortly, and then we have some Pathfinders down here, six of them, and I will explain those in another tutorial. So let's go ahead and start out with the first shape mode. Uh, let's say I have my circle here and I have it in line with my uh, rectangle here and your layers will play uh, a role in this so whichever layer is above and below it will have effect on this okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to select both shapes okay go over to the first far left one here and it will say unite and what this will do is it will unite both shapes it will use the layer that is on top will be the prominent color as for this new shape so select that right there and it'll show you what it, it becomes and it becomes this right here and now look I have one shape which is combining the rectangle and the circle and the one that took prominence was the green because the green circle was on top so I am going to undo that and now we have both the green circle and yellow rectangle back here and the second shape mode is minus the front so what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to select both of these shapes here minus the front it will completely remove the front top layer which was the green circle and it will show you here it will cut off the overlapping part on the other shape so now you got a nice cool looking uh, rectangle with a with a bite coming out of it so uh, that's pretty cool there and that is the unite shape mode okay the next one we have intersect and let me show you this one this one is kind of cool so then we go to intersect it removes completely the back layer shape layer so let me remove that uh, and I think we could see this better if we went and did this right here let's do the star and the circle and then let's go and do the intersect and boom it deletes everything that is covered up right here it deletes everything but what is covered up so if you see there when I do intersect both shapes that are not anything of the two shapes that are not interlapping is going to be the shape that you get there okay and the last shape mode that you're going to see in the Pathfinder uh, tool will be exclude and that will exclude everything that is overlapped so you will see everything that is not overlapped and if you look when I put this one in there it's gonna actually show another shape that you put behind it it'll show that color in the intersection there so guys this is the uh, Pathfinder tool it can do so much more than what I just showed you uh, the key thing to remember here is a lot of this has to do with your layers which I got my layer panel right over here if the green circle is above the yellow rectangle it will take prominence so make sure we understand that when working with the Pathfinder tool there's so much more you can do with this tool if you have any other further questions in regards to the Pathfinder tool put them in the comment box below don't forget to rate subscribe like email me if you've got some tutorials that you would like to see let me know and I uh, hope you guys have a good day and uh, I will see you next time